Okay, in my last uh, video on JavaScript, I went over how to use um, methods like docu document write to t display the contents of your variable to your browser to actually take the stuff that you make and put in a variable and have the browser write that to screen. Um, just a real brief overview. This is what it looks like here. I have my variable. I've defined it with a name. Like I said before, uh, a name can be anything you want, couch, potato. Um, it usually it does have some rules. It has to begin with an underline, a dollar score, uh, a dollar sign, or a small or large letter. Um, after that you can use numbers, but generally when you're naming your variable, it starts with the word variable and then the, whatever name you want to give it. Then the variable is actually a container that holds all of the content. Think of it like a Tupperware box that holds all of this content so you don't have to keep writing this content. You can just call it to the screen by using the variable with the doc, document write um, method. Okay, so now we're going to take this a step for, further. When this action plays and you pull it up in Internet Explorer, this is what it looks like. It will play all it will doc, it will take my contents of my variable and actually write it to my screen, okay? Now, sometimes you don't want that to happen when the page loads. You want that to happen when the user does an event such as roll over. Or, uh, with the mouse or click it with the mouse and let me show you how that works okay in this next example right here I did the same thing except I took my document write method and encased it in a function that I created and to create a function all you need is a name and I just called this my function you can call it whatever you want to call it and these two little um, brackets around around it. The word function, like the word variable, is um, a protected word in JavaScript. It's used it, and it must come before you actually name your function, just like var must come before you actually name your variable. Um, and these little things um, encase your script that will call when when the user clicks the button. Okay, so Basically, what's going to happen here is I did the same thing as before, but instead of um, my variable being displayed or written to screen when I load my page, it will not be written to screen until the user does um, until the user calls my function to write it to screen. And the user calls my function to write it to screen when they click my button. Um, so this is a function that is hidden until the user does an event that calls the function to play. And let me show you how this works in um, Internet Explorer. Okay, so here I'm clicking my allowed block content so my JavaScript will play. Okay, here I've got the same setup. But all of my stuff in my variable is hidden and will not be played until I click this. So I'm clicking this and then you see the content of my variable displayed. So that is a different way of doing the same thing and holding your actions or holding your commands in a, in a function until you want the, the um, action to play. Um, so I just wanted to show you that you could. There's two ways to write uh, to screen. One is just when it will load automatically, like I showed you in the first video, and then this one you can actually control it um, and have the user click a button. Okay, I want to take our discussion one step further here. Um, let me back this off. I didn't mean that to be there. In addition to storing text into your variable, and you can also store an image. Uh, the trick with that is when you insert an image, you want to take out, these will be double quotes right here, right here, right here, right here. You want to make those single quotes. And you just go back in over your code and, and make them single quotes. You keep the double quotes on the end because that's your variable and your variable is always variable, the variable name, equal sign, and then these double quotes. But it 
plays with JavaScript. JavaScript doesn't know how to read it um, if you put double if you keep the double quotes on your um, image tag. So make sure if you're doing if you're using Dreamweaver and you're inserting an image like this, um, which is generally how most people do it, that you remove these double quotes. Like you go back in and you make those single quotes just by going over them like this and then uh, sorry Oops. Okay, and then you can take, let's see, you probably want to do it like this. Then you can just take all of this, Control X, and copy it into here, Control V, and that will give you um, what you're looking for. Um, you want to keep your double quotes on the end. You want to make sure you use that semicolon right here at the end. Okay. Now this again, I've encased inside a function. It's going to play when my user or um, who's ever reviewing, looking at my web page, clicks the button. So let me show you how this is going to work. If you go into Internet Explorer, Save Changes, I'm going down here to Internet Explorer. Okay. I'm just hitting Refresh. Okay. Here's all my stuff and I'm hitting allowed block content so my JavaScript will play and then I'm going to hit click me and there's my picture. So it will display my picture when the user um, clicks the button and um, that's just a real easy way for you to um, store images inside a variable and get them to be called to the browser screen or written to the browser screen when the user uh, clicks the button. Or if you want the picture just to display when the page loads, all you'd have to do that would be do the, your code like this. Um, just amend it. Take this out. Take this out. And then um, when the page loads, the um, the picture would show automatically. When the, it would write the screen right. It would write um, the image the variable to screen as soon as the page loads. So all you'd have to do there is it would look like this. There you go. It would now it, there was a pause there because I have on this browser um, it stops JavaScript unless I allow it. So that's how it would look. It would automatically write to screen without a user having to click a button. So those are two ways to show images or to show other context to your screen, um, either by user interaction or just by having the page load. Screen. So I just wanted to give you those two examples. Again, um, I'm studying JavaScript. I'm trying to do these videos as I go along. They're just quick snippets of information I'm learning as I'm coming across it and I want to share it uh, with you all as well. Okay, thanks. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.